Okay, so in this session, we're going to have determining the domain and range of the different circular functions. Let's begin. Here are the learning objectives that we should learn by the end of this lesson. After, after finishing the module, the learners should be able to determine the more the domain and determine the domain of the different circular functions and determine the range of the different circular functions so here are the six circular functions of an angle theta take note that the given an angle theta has a central angle in the unit circle with the length of the opposite side to theta equal to y and the length of the side adjacent to theta equal to x. So since r, the hypotenuse, is a radius of a unit circle, its measure is equal to one unit. Okay? So look, uh, sine theta is equal to y, cosine x is equal, or cosine theta is equal to x. Then since tangent is sine over cosine, so tangent theta is equal to y over x. The reciprocal of tangent is cotangent, so cotangent theta is equal to x over y. Second, theta is equal to 1 over x, and cosecant is equal to 1 over y. So it is very important for you to remember that the, in, the inverse or reciprocal of sine is cosecant and the uh, inverse or reciprocal of cosine is second. So that will help you in order to determine to e or easily determine the six circular functions. Domain and range of circular functions. To get the domain and range of the six circular functions, we will use again the unit circle take note that the values of each circular functions can be found using their definitions and properties of a unit circle so take a look of the unit circle so for zero degree so as you can see the cos cosine theta and sine theta coordinates are one zero then for 90 degrees, 0, 1, for 180, negative 1, 0, for 270, 0, negative 1, for 180, that's 1, 0 again. So the angle is a theta. The point on the circle is x, y. And uh, like what I've mentioned before, so the cosine theta is equal to x and the cosine and the sine theta is equal to y. So now let's proceed to domain of sine and cosine. For any real number x, sine x is equal to sine theta and cosine x is equal to cosine theta, such that theta is an angle that measures x regions. Since each number x corresponds to an angle theta and sine theta and cosine theta is defined for any theta, therefore, there is no domain restriction for sine theta and cosine theta. Hence, the domain of sine theta and cosine theta is the set of all real numbers. So if there is no domain restriction, any real numbers can be values of sine theta and cosine theta, then we can say that the domain is all real numbers. Or the domain is the set of all real numbers. So, putting all reals, or you can also use the not the set notation form. The range of sine and cosine. So each coordinate of point P in the unit circle, which is the value of sine and cosine is between the interval negative 1, 1. 
Okay? So therefore, we can conclude that the range of sine theta and cosine theta is the closed interval, negative 1 and 1. So we need to say any values between negative 1 and 1 where negative 1 and 1 are included. Negative 1 and positive 1 can be values of or can be range of sine and cosine. Okay? Domain of tangent. So recall that the tangent function is given by tangent is equal to y over x or sine over cosine. So therefore, tangent theta is defined in all real numbers except when x is equal to 0 because tangent theta will be undefined if x is equal to 0. From the unit circle, x is 0 when theta is equal to the following angles. So negative 3 phi over 2, negative pi over 2, pi over 2, 3 phi over 2, pi pi over 2. Hence, the domain of tangent theta is the set of all real numbers except those values of 0 or theta equal to pi over 2 plus n pi such that n is an integer. Okay, so take note of that. The domain of tangent theta is the set of all real numbers except those values of theta equal to pi over 2 plus n over uh, nr n tet n pi. Range of tangent. So, since the tangent function is given by tangent theta equals y over x, and y over x can be any number, therefore, the range of tangent theta is the set of all real numbers. So, there's no restriction in terms of the range of tangent theta. Okay? So, domain of cotangent. Let us determine the domain of cotangent function. So recall that cotangent function is given by cotangent theta equals x over y. Therefore, cotangent theta is defined except when y equals 0. From the unit circle, y is 0 when theta is equal to the angles shown. So negative, uh, so 2 pi, negative pi, pi, 2 pi, and 3 pi. Hence, the domain of cotangent theta is the set of all real numbers except those values of theta equal to n theta, theta such that n is an integer. So except those values of theta equal to n pi such that n is an integer. So that's the only restriction for the domain of cotangent theta. Range of cotangent. Since cotangent function is given by cotangent theta equals x over y, and x over y can be any number, therefore, like tangent, the range of cotangent theta is the set of all real numbers. Okay? So it's very easy to remember. So there's no restriction for cotangent theta. The range is the set of all real numbers. Now, let's proceed to domain of second. So, for the domain of second, you're going to, to consider the previous domain of sine and cosine. So, recall that second function is given by second theta equals 1 over x. Therefore, second theta is defined except when x equals 0. From the unit circle, x is 0 when theta is equal to the following angles. Okay? So negative 3 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, pi pi over 2. Anyway, uh, so later I'm, go I'm going to show you those, I'm going to show you again the unit circle. 
for you to see the corresponding angles of this uh, measurement in terms of region. Hence, like the tangent, the domain of second is all real numbers except those values of theta equal to pi over 2 plus n pi such that n is an integer. Okay, so take note of the restriction for the domain of second except those values of theta equal to pi over 2 plus n pi. Range of second. So we know that we know from the unit circle that the values of x can be found in the interval negative 1, 1. And the second function is given by second theta is equal to 1 over x. When x is in interval negative 1 or from negative 1 to 0 where negative 1 is included, 1 over x ranges from negative infinity to negative 1. Okay? When x is interval from 0 to 1, so 1, 0 is not included, 1 is included, 1 over x ranges from 1 to positive infinity. Okay? So therefore, the range of second theta is the set. So from negative infinity to negative 1 included, union from 1 to positive infinity. Okay? Domain of cosecant. Recall that the cosecant function is given by cosecant 1 over y. Or cosecant theta equals 1 over y. Therefore, cosecant theta is defined except when y equals 0. From the unit circle, y is 0 when theta is equal to the following angles. 2 pi, negative pi, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi. Hence, like the cotangent, the domain of cosecant theta is all real numbers except those values of theta equal to n pi such that n is an integer. For the range of the cosecant, so we know from the unit circle that the values of y can be found in the interval negative 1, 1. And the cosecant function is given by cosecant theta equals 1 over y. When y is in the interval from negative 1 to 0, 1 over y ranges from negative infinity to negative 1, where negative 1 is included. When y is in the interval 0 to 1, where positive 1 is included, 1 over y ranges from 1 to positive infinity. Therefore, the range of second is the set negative in, from negative infinity to negative 1 included, union from 1 to positive infinity where positive 1 is included. Okay? So it's just, uh, it looks similar from the domain of the cosecant. Okay. So for the summary, uh, take a look of this for the function. So sine theta, domain, all real numbers range from negative 1 to 1. Cosecant, uh, all real numbers for the domain, for the range, so from negative 1 to positive 1. Okay? For the tangent, so all real numbers except pi over 2 plus n pi. So those given angles where it will be zero. The range, all real numbers. For the cotangent, so all real numbers except n pi. So range, all real numbers. So now, uh, since sine and cosecant and sine and cosine, so the inverse is uh, second and cosecant. So take a look of the relationship of the range. So for the domain, for the second theta, R except, or all real numbers except pi over 2 plus n pi. So negative, uh, from neg the range negative infinity to negative 1, union from 1 to positive infinity. And for the cosecant, domain, 
all real numbers except n pi and then for the range also from negative infinity to negative 1 union from 1 to positive infinity so this is the list of domain and the range for each circular function so take a screenshot of this this will be your guide 